On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to make spaghetti and meatball petites because I'm going to use my muffin tins. This looks really interesting. Now, I've never done this before, so we'll see if this turns out. I think it'll be a really fun Mahjong Nosh. So let's get to the ingredients. For the pasta nests, I've got some angel hair pasta. This is a three quarter box, so I guess it's like uh, maybe nine to 10 ounces, and I've broken them into thirds. So we're gonna boil those for eight minutes. I might as well put them in right now. Okay, so those are gonna cook for eight minutes and I'll stir them occasionally. When the pasta is done boiling, we're gonna drain it and rinse it with cold water. Then we'll whisk together two eggs with, I believe this is a cup and a half of mozzarella. This is a half a cup of Parmesan and one cup of marinara sauce. Now you can use whatever pizza sauce or tomato, tomato paste, whatever kind of sauce you use to make spaghetti, I would use that. So we're gonna mix all those together and then we're gonna toss in the noodles to make the nests. So I will put the pasta in these little muffin cups. This is where the test is because I want it to be a one bite. The recipe called to use the big muffin tins, but that would be like three or four bites. So I'm gonna try to do it in little cups. So we'll see what happens there. Then we're gonna make meatballs. Oh, cause we're gonna bake these. So while these are baking in the oven, which I have preheated to 500 degrees, I'm going to make meatballs. So here I have a half a pound of hamburger and a half a pound of Italian sausage. I have a half a cup of breadcrumbs, a little bit of garlic and onion. I guess that's um, dehydrated onion. And you could just flavor it however you like. And then I have a quarter cup of Parmesan and an egg. So, oh, and then of course I have two cups of the marinara again. So we're gonna mix all these together to make the meatballs and then we'll bake the meatballs. Then we're going to cook the meatballs in the marinara and we'll put a meatball in each nest, top it with some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of fresh basil and then it'll be done. So this seems a bit complicated, doesn't it? I, I'm hoping that if I make it once, it, it'll be easy the next time around. So um, let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna go stir the pasta. Okay. I'm using angel hair pasta because I figured it'd be smaller than regular spaghetti. So you wanna cook it till it's al dente. The instructions said to cook it for eight minutes, but that's when you use the uh, spaghetti. So I think I'm gonna go maybe six minutes for the angel hair. That might even be too long. So let's see here. It's been in there for five minutes right now, and it's just a little bit too raw still. So I'm gonna pull it out here in just a minute. I think probably five minutes. I'm thinking five minutes. Five minutes. Now if you decide to make bigger cups and use spaghetti, do eight minutes. But if you use angel hair, five minutes. All right, so it said to rinse it in cold water. I never do this when I make spaghetti, but I think the reason 
is because we're going to toss it in the egg and you don't want it to cook the egg until it gets in the oven to bake. So I'm assuming that's why you want it to be cool. That cooled down really fast. Okay, so I'm just going to let this drain for a few minutes. Let's go ahead and whisk the egg together. Okay, I'm going to whisk this real quick. Okay, now this is going to be interesting because I was a bit surprised when it said to put pasta sauce in here with the pasta. So I don't know. We'll see what this is going to look like. So I'm going to put in the cheese. And the pasta sauce. Kind of kinky. Let's mix it up. Mm hmm I'm thinking that the cheese is going to make it kind of a little more solid. Okay, now I'm going to stick that in there. Now we're going to add the pasta. And I'm not going to dirty this. We'll use this. Okay, so I'm just going to toss this. I'm not sure about this color. It's kind of pink. So I'm hoping that it will maybe look a little more yellow once it's baked. Maybe I just need to mix it a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, now we're supposed to spray the muffin tins. So I like to do this in my sink. Okay, so there's our muffin tins. Now we need to put the pasta in the muffin tin. And I forgot how much I'm supposed to put in there, so I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna use this. And it was not clear, so I just have to guess. Let's see here. I'm gonna measure it. So let's see if we do maybe a quarter cup per, per um, muffin hole. Okay, I think that's too much. How much is that? Golly, that's not much at all. Let's see here. Okay. It looks like it's gonna be maybe a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna get out a tablespoon. All right, now, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, oh. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is a comedy of errors here, but I gotta figure this out. Okay, let's just say that's a heaping tablespoon. Okay, so I guess that's about right, like a tablespoon. And then you wanna make it a nest. So I'm gonna use my fingers. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it like a little nest with my finger. I'm just gonna use my fingers instead of this thing because that was a pain. So, get messy. We'll see how this goes.
All right. I'll do one more and then I'll do a close up for you. Maybe I should just go straight into the muffin cup. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so here's what it looks like. Can you see in there? I think using your hands is gonna be the best way to do it. So I'm gonna get to stuffing here. So I'm just putting it in there and then I'm gonna put my fingers in like that and just kind of go apart. And that seems to make a really nice little cup. Okay, so let's speed this up. Maybe I could use two hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You really just want to divot because you're going to put a meatball in there. A little meatball. Okay. So now I'm going to do this other one. Here we go. I think the quickest way to do it is to just grab it, kind of drop it in and then go back and give it a swirl or a poke. This is a kind of a lot of spaghetti here. I'm probably gonna have to do this in batches. Although I do have a big muffin tin. So I might have to get that out Okay, now I'm going to go in and make the little cups. And it's okay if it looks a little messy because the pasta is almost going to look like lace. At least from the picture that I saw, it's okay if it looks messy. I think these look like nests. So I'm gonna rinse my hands and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. And these need to go in the oven for 15 minutes. So here they go. Here we go big muffin tin. What do you think of that? I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link below the video for this. So I'm going to spray it. like getting messy you're gonna like this one it's not gonna fill the whole thing but I think it's gonna be okay Now we'll make the little divot. I 
I think this, uh, it's like a little beak. Let's beak it. Okay, I'm gonna double check that time. I think it was 15 minutes, so I'll be right back. 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put this over here and we'll stick that in when the others come out. I need to wash this up because I only have one big bowl because we need to make those now. now for this this is where it gets real gooey so egg okay the breadcrumbs cheese spices A little bit of salt. I'm not going to put any, uh, uh, this is not salt, this is pepper. I'm not going to put any salt in because the Parmesan is really salty. And I think that probably has salt in it too because I just got jarred marinara from Costco. So we'll mix this up. Oh, I guess I could put this in here. Wait a minute. No. That doesn't go in here. This we're gonna simmer together after they're cooked. Okay, this is way thicker than I usually do meatballs. That's pretty thick. But I've never made Italian meatballs. I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is almost the texture of the hamburger. So I'm gonna get this out of here. Okay, it smells really good. Let's put this inside now, Let's get that out of there. Okay, there we go. I think I might have used one more egg personally, but I'll just make sure it's all mixed in there pretty good. I think if it was a little more wet, it would probably mix better. Okay, I think we're gonna have more nests than meatballs, but I have more meat in the fridge and I can just do another batch. But I do want to make these kind of small actually because they're going to sit on that nest. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, now we're going to make meatballs. So here we go. This is, I think, let's just see. I think that's pretty good. Maybe a teaspoon. So a little less than filling this thing, this little cookie scoop. I think what I'm gonna do is scoop and just put it here and then I'll go back and shape them up. I think it'll be quicker that way than picking this thing up every single time. So let's speed this up.
Okay, I need to wash my hands because those are about ready to come out. Okay, those look really nice. So I'm going to set these over here. And it barely fits. Okay, it's said to, some of them might puff up a little, and if they do, just poke them down. Okay, back to the meatballs. Oh, timer. Okay, so back to the meatballs. I think I'm gonna maybe go a little bit smaller, maybe, Ugh, I don't know. I would love to be able to fill all those little nests. Let's see how many we have. So there's 12, 24, Okay, so 48. Hmm. All right, we'll see if we can get 48 meatballs out of this. It's actually 50, because there's two extra. So let's find out what happens. I'm not sure. I've never made this before. I might need to get my other hamburger out. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six times four is 24. That's only 24. I think this might actually work. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can get the same amount here. Maybe I will make them a little bit smaller. And then I'll just go back over the ones that are little, kind of even it out. kind of some of these ones at the beginning I think were bigger so we'll just make a meatball out of some of these bigger ones and see how it goes two three four five six one two three four five six I need two more Okay, I need to make one more. One more. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty-four. Okay, I think we're good. And look, I think they're gonna be the perfect little size. So I'll get to rolling. eight minutes and then we'll cook these in there probably let's see when I do big meatballs probably twice this size I really put them in there for maybe 20 minutes 25 minutes I think these might take let's say 15 minutes 20 minutes let's do 15 minutes and then give it a shake so they're kind of evenly cooked. Maybe 10, let's do 10 and 10. We'll do 10 minutes, give it a shake, and then we'll do another 10 minutes and see what it looks like. And of course I'll update the instructions because these instructions here say to fry it. 
and I don't like to fry. I really don't. It makes a mess on the stove and the floor. And I would have to do it in batches. This way I can stick the whole sheet in the oven, give it a good shake a couple times. The mess is all contained in that oven. And then I just clean the oven every now and again. Oops. Okay, these are ready now. Okay, cute little meatballs. So I'm gonna clean up. Let's bring these over here. So it's cooled down. There we go. They're cute. And they're very cheesy too. So uh, we'll just wait for the meatballs. But we need to, I think I'll go ahead and start simmering this because once the meatballs come out of the oven, we need to simmer it in here. Then we assemble. And then we'll just put a, a really quick little um, chiffonade of uh, basil on top for garnish. I think it's gonna be really tasty. And they're very cute. We'll see if they're gonna be something that can be handled, I don't know. We'll see, I don't know if this is gonna be a good nosh for Mahjong, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so two more minutes and then we can pull out that other one. see that those look pretty good I don't know why but this one kind of cooked a little hotter than this one okay meatballs are going in so I'm gonna cook those for 10 minutes and then we'll simmer them with the sauce for five minutes well I'll go 10 minutes shake them up 10 minutes then we'll put them in the sauce, simmer for five, assemble, garnish, taste. It's gonna be good. I just don't know if it's gonna to be too messy. We'll see. I think I need to pack down a few of these. Okay, I think this will be a really fun snack. I just think it's gonna be a bit messy. So now, these are cool enough to touch, so I'm just gonna tip them out. Let's see if I can get four across. Nope, I think the meatballs will probably fall. I think I'll do three across. These little cups, though, are really cute, and they look like a nest. Okay, and now we'll put on a meatball. Oh, gosh. If I had made these meatballs any bigger, this would not have worked. The meatballs need to be pretty small. They're very cute though. I wish I had an herb garden. I don't I, I don't have a green thumb. And I've been wanting to do an herb garden. Maybe I'll do one this spring. Because I would love to have my own fresh basil. This is from the produce department. So, oh my gosh. Oh, it smells really nice. So I think what I'll do is roll it up like so. 
Then I will cut it in half, roll it up again, and then I will do really nice little slices. Oh, fresh basil smells really, really nice. Very, very nice. Just one little piece of basil on each one. We'll put one more little piece on that one. Maybe one more little piece on that one. There. I'm gonna make one for myself. They come out really easily. Look at that nest. Isn't that nice? So I'll add a little meatball. with a little bit of marinara on there and a little chiffonade of basil. There's my bite. Actually, it's gonna be more like three bites or two bites. So let's have a taste. delicious. It tastes like spaghetti and meatballs. It's really good. It gets cold a bit quick, so make sure that you take a pause from the game, serve this, or have them maybe snack on it before the game starts. You definitely want to have napkins because it's a bit messy. It's delicious and I think it's adorable. I think that if you had one of those, um, what are they called? Those dishes, those um, serving, are they called chafing dishes? Is chafing the right word? I don't know. I mean, that's what happens between your legs. You chafe. Is that what it's called? A chafing dish? I don't know. Anyway, if you had some kind of a warmer, where you can keep these warm. I think this would be great. Otherwise you'd have to serve it pretty quickly because these noodles, they got cold pretty quickly. Other than that, I think it's a great snack and it's beautiful. Let me know what you think about it. Try it yourself and tell me how it was for you. You can use your own meatball recipe, your own marinara sauce. And I think these um, angel hair pasta is the best. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do so that you get notification for when I post a new video. That way you won't miss out on any recipes for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, may all your picks be keepers.